Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about one of the greatest baits of all time for bass fishing, especially in the fall, and that is going to be the spinner bait. We're going to show you three quick modifications that you need to be doing to your spinner bait for the fall that's going to help you catch a lot more fish. They're very easy modifications, do not take long to do, and it will put more fish in your boat or on the bank. Stay tuned to the end of the video. We're going to go through these three modifications real fast and hopefully you'll be catching more fish on a spinnerbait by the end of today's video. If you enjoy these bass fishing tip videos, go ahead down below and hit that subscribe button for me. I put new videos out every Monday and Thursday. So if you hit that notification bell below when you hit the subscribe button, you'll get all the notifications for when my new videos come out. Let's get into the first modification I like to make with my spinnerbaits and it's probably the biggest one that you need to make. This first modification that you're going to want to do to your spinnerbait is especially important important in the fall because the bass are so keyed in on shad. That is going to be to choose the right blade. So as you can see right here, I have a spinnerbait with a Colorado blade and a willow leaf blade. That is not the combination you'd want. What I would do is I would open this spinnerbait up, I'd take all these pieces off and I'd put another willow leaf blade on here. The combination that you would like to fish during the fall is going to be a double willow leaf option right there. Doesn't matter the colors, gold and silver, you can alternate if the water's a little stained like this one here. You can do double silver if the water is clear, but you need double willow leaf blades, specifically big ones. I know you're probably thinking that's not really a modification, just buy a spinnerbait with double willow leaf blades. It depends on if you're buying your spinnerbaits in the store, make sure you choose the right blade selection, or a lot of people build their own. If you're building your own, make sure you put the right combination on there. Even if you get out there on the water, and you need a spinnerbait on the fly, you can take that Colorado blade off of this one and put a willow leaf blade on and you'd have the right combination for fall. The reason that I pick these, especially bigger willow leaf blades, the bigger you can get the better without causing too much lift, is because it looks similar to a shad. They have that deep body, they have that long profile, a lot of flash comes off of these. That's gonna get you the most amount of bites. Willow leafs are known for their flash, but even the profile itself mimics a shad very, very well. But with the bass trying to feed up for winter, they're gonna try and put on as much weight as they can by eating as much food as they can. So we wanna make our spinnerbait look like as many shad as we possibly can. That being done, by putting two willow leaf blades up top there, you already have one, two shad in the school, and then the spinnerbait will imitate the rest. So you have essentially a three shad school right here. I do not use this combination all year round. I specifically use it in the fall. There are other combinations. There's a time and a place for two Colorados, a Colorado and a willow, but specifically in the fall time, no matter how dirty your water is, I pretty much always go with the double willow leaf option to make sure I can mimic those shad to the best of my abilities. That's what's gonna get you the most amount of bites by using that combination right there. Now the second modification is going to combat some of your short strikes on your spinnerbait. A lot of times these fish will short strike it. That's why you wanna use a trailer hook a lot of the times, but in the fall I don't use a trailer hook. So since I don't use that trailer hook, we wanna minimize all the short strikes we can get. We wanna land as many fish on this spinnerbait as we can. And by doing these couple modifications, this one and the next one, you'll make sure you land almost 99% of the fish that eat this spinnerbait, especially because it's a single hook bait you're gonna land a ton of fish on a single hook bait. So the first thing you'll notice about this spinner bait here, see these long tag ends that hang down where they extend the skirt? It makes it look a little more natural and they do that so that they can cover up this trailer hook. Some spinner baits come with it, some spinner baits don't. It depends on what you buy. A lot of spinner baits come with this trail here so that you can put a trailer hook on and if they nip this skirt, they still get the trailer hook. But if you notice, the trailer hook here is actually up in the skirt. So there's still all of this that this fish can grab and not get hooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pair of scissors, clippers, whatever you have, and we are going to nip the skirt all the way across in one motion. We want that skirt completely flush. We don't want anything hanging down below where those fish can short strike or nip at. We want them to bite this skirt and get this hook every single time. And like I said, not all spinnerbaits are gonna have this trail on the back of it. I know war eagles do. I know a lot of Strike King ones do. It depends on your brand, but if they do have this, make sure you trim that off. It'll eliminate a lot of short strikes right off the bat just by doing that one thing. Now, if you remember when we talked about the first modification, we talked about using these blades to make this bait really look like a shad. Well, since the bass are gonna be wanting to eat shad especially, a lot of times the fish will actually eat the blades and not get the spinnerbait. So if you ever feel fish thump your spinnerbait and they don't get hooked, or you hook them on the outside of the face, especially under the chin, 
it's because they're eating the blades. This next modification will help stop them from doing that because it offers something different and a bigger meal than the rest of the bait, especially if you just have a bare skirt on here. A lot of times they'll go for the blades because they look like more of a meal than just this bare skirt once it's all collapsed down in the water. And that is going to be to add a trailer to your spinnerbait. Specifically, the trailer that I like to use on my spinnerbaits is going to be a Kitek, uh, the Swing Fat Impact in the 3.3 size. Again, we don't want fish short striking this. We don't want to put a 3.8 on there and have the tail hanging way off the spinnerbait, like way down here. That just gives them something to short strike. But if you throw the 3.3 on there, you can see that looks just like a regular swim jig that you'd fish all times. Essentially, this is just a swim jig with blades on the top of it. If you put that trailer on the back here, when the fish are coming up to bite this thing and they see this spinnerbait, instead of going for one of these tiny little blades, they're gonna go for this skirt in the big bulky presentation. And when they do, because this plastic is here, it gives them more something to grab onto and they'll aim for the hook because they'll always go for the head so they can see the tail here. They usually go for the head. They'll go right here on the spinnerbait and you'll get them in the mouth almost every time. As you can see, this one, if it would have had that trail, which I had already cut off, it would hang down here and impede the action of this tail. The other thing I did is I trimmed this even shorter so that the tail has room to move on here. You wanna make sure you get a lot of action out of your trailer so you don't want any of the silicone skirts touching about halfway down the tail there. That way it can flow freely while it's in the water, really make this thing look like a shad and really get you a lot of bites, making sure the fish get the hook every time. One last bonus tip I have before we finish today's video off, when you're picking out your spinnerbait color, if you have stained water in the fall, make sure you add a little bit of chartreuse in your skirt color. That's one thing I've noticed that's helped a lot. You can see this one just has a tiny touch of it in it. You don't need a lot, just a tiny touch. And the other thing that helps when they're really feeding on shad, you can see it in that skirt there. See how there's silver in that skirt? rather than white, that will throw even more flash in addition to the blades, in addition to the silver head, in addition to this white trailer. Just that little bit of silver adds that shimmy and flash to really make this thing look like a shad. I hope you enjoyed today's video talking about three quick modifications you can do to your spinnerbait to land more fish this fall. It'll even help you get more bites. If you enjoyed the bass fishing tip videos, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more. And make sure you leave a comment below on other types of bass fishing tips you'd like to see so I can make those videos in the future. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and thanks for watching.